today. Gary and Drenda join us in the studio for teachings from Gary's new book, Your Financial Revolution, The Power of Strategy, now on Fixing the Money Thing. We're going to be talking about The Power of Strategy, your new book. Exactly. That I'm is really the key. excited about this. This is one of my favorite teachings that you share. Strategy, yes. yes. You talk about the treasure chest, Gary. What is the treasure chest? Well, that's the secret. In fact, the Bible says it's the secret. And actually, in 1 Corinthians, second chapter, Paul, writing the letter in Corinthians, says there's a mystery, there's a secret that can literally let you know things you've never thought, seen, or heard that can be the key to your new tomorrows. And what are some of those secrets in that The treasure? secret, the treasure chest is in you. The Bible says when we come to Christ, we're born again. Our spirits become one with God's Spirit, and we have access to the thoughts of God. The Holy Spirit in us is the treasure chest, the Bible says. And you'd have to agree the Holy Spirit knows a lot of things. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Well, listen to this. It says, the Holy Spirit in you has the ability. It says, no, ear, no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived what God has prepared for those who love Him, but God has revealed it to us by His Spirit. And the Bible says in Luke 17, 20, that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit and the Spirit does not, the kingdom of God, I should say, does not come by observation for it is in us. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, God Himself in us, is a reservoir, if you will, of wisdom and knowledge that we don't know. Do you know stories, Gary, could you share with us an example of that where oh, the Holy Spirit has downloaded a mystery to you? Well, let's say our life, Dren, do you remember, was not the greatest. Nine years, seriously, dysfunctional in finances. I mean, we are in debt to anybody, IRS, I mean, everything canceled, 10 credit cards canceled, you name it, we, we were, it was done. In that moment, God spoke to us, spoke to me and said, listen, you need to know how, how I do this thing called life. And so we turned to the Holy Spirit and asked God to teach us His ways. And one of the first things he did was he gave me a dream to start a brand new company. Now that was foreign to me because I didn't know how to start that company. I was kind of scared to step out into what the Holy Spirit was showing me. But he gave me a dream to start a company from scratch. That business is how we got out of debt. In just two and a half years, began to pay everything off, cars, build our house, paid off, paid all the debt off. Our life was drastically transformed by an idea by the Holy Spirit, and that business is still in business today, 30 years later, still producing hundreds of thousands of dollars advancing a year, the kingdom. advancing the kingdom, and it literally changed our life all by a download from the Holy Spirit, an idea that we didn't have, but that God gave us from the inside out. You know, strategies is the name of my new book, you know, the power of strategy. Strategy is how to get things done. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit in you knows how to get things done. I remember back when we were, again, just coming out of debt, Holy Spirit. And one of the things we longed for was our, our own home. Now, at that time, we're living in an old farmhouse, everything broken, the carpet we found alongside the road, the mattresses, the kids, a nursing home, uh, discard pile, everything, the windows cracked. I mean, the car's broken. Everything's broken. You know, everything we found at garage sales. And so we, we wanted a house, but you got to have money to have a house, right? And so the bottom line is through a, a process again of the Holy Spirit, we created businesses, this business I talked about, enough money came in to pay us, pay the debt off and pay cash for our 55 acres of land. But then we needed a house, right? right. <laughs> and so I remember saying to you, okay, we've got land, but where's my house? I still want house? a house right. and something we kept, we started really praying about. Yeah. And so we began to research options and we found a lot of different options. How can you build a house cheap enough that we could afford what we needed with five kids? Right. We had this beautiful land and we didn't want to just put anything on the land because you know the land was special, 55 acres. We, we wanted to stay there a while. And so we found uh, what's called a modular home, which is a, it's not a trailer, but it's a home built in a factory in pieces right. and they bring on your property right. and assemble it. And from where we were coming, it looked like, wow, this it, would it be nice some homes. square footage. It was, you know, it's up a, there compared to where we were. Yeah, it's a stick built at home. Yeah. It's just built in a factory but and assembled. it wasn't where we needed to go. Yeah, and so we looked at all the models, three different companies and our budget, and we came to a conclusion that, okay, this, this one will work. Listen to my word. Right. 
it will work, all right? And you have to know as a woman, I was beating the bushes trying to find oh, something that would work. Yeah, we were, you, were, you were digging in there. I was running the business and you were digging behind the scenes looking for things. But so we were invited at this time, we were beginning to teach people how to get out of debt because we'd gotten out of debt. And this uh, one group invited us to come to Virginia and teach this group of people uh, what we learned about how to get out of debt. So we accepted. And they said, would you mind staying with this family's uh, in, in their home? And I said, well, you know, again, our money was, we were getting out of debt, but we, sure, sure we're fine staying there and we would love to meet them. And, that would save everyone money, and we thought that'd be great. Yes, and I remember pulling up in front of their home and seeing this beautiful brick home and thinking, this is gorgeous. Yeah. And then we go in and find out they built this house. They general contracted this house. They did a lot of the work themselves. Yeah. And so all of a sudden, our concept of what we possibly could do was changing, and I showed them the plan of well, what we were thinking about doing. Let me, let me and they back were like, up. no, 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 let no, no. Let me back up. They began to, uh, we looked at their house, and it was awesome, and then, we said, we built it. And I said, what do you mean you built it? I mean, are you contractors? No, I have a corporate job. You know, we did this part time. Did, did you frame it? Yeah, we framed it. We, we built it. And it's this gorgeous. I said, you built it. Okay. So then we're getting ready for supper. And we said, well, we're building a house too. And they, would you like to see our house? We said, and we brought these plans out for this, this modular home. And I can remember this, uh, the wife looking at it, well, Drenda, this, this kitchen's not... <laughs> it's not big enough. It's not big You've enough. You've got five and children. They're going to get big. They're going to become yeah, teenagers. Well, you're going to pastor. You're enough. doing this. You can't have people here. Yeah, this isn't this. Oh, no, <laughs> this will never work. Whole, no, this will never work. Blew you know? our whole, like, little bit of a dream, but it was too small of a dream. It, yeah. was, a, it was a settling dream. It was, Well, okay, it's all we knew. This is all we can do. This is all we have. But they shed some light. It's all we knew at the first, time. First, it's not going to work. And secondly, there's a better way. I said, okay, how, how can we build a house with the money we have that's going to be big enough to do what we need to do? And they'd simply say, you build it. And I about fell over. I say, mm -hmm. uh, right, me build. I, ha I have no idea what's in a house. I don't know what's behind the wall. I've never seen a house, really. I don't, I don't know. Me build a house. That is the craziest idea you have ever said. Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCassie.com and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing. And thanks for watching.